Uh, one question I just kind of had too is uh, since you've done like some Marvel and DC, can yep. you bounce between the two? Do you have a preference? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm absolutely not. I mean, I think, I, I mean, be perfectly honest with you, I mean, I grew up as a Marvel guy. You know what I mean, I was, um, my favorite books growing up were Uncanny X Men, was my favorite thing, John Byrne, you know, issue 108 to 143, my favorite things. So getting a chance to draw Uncanny X Men was, you know, a dream come true. I mean, I can say, even even now, I mean, even how I'm working on Spider Man is so bizarre. I went to see Spider Verse, and I, I posted on my social media that I liked like I liked the, the movie, and Marvel reached out and said, "Hey, do you want to draw Spider Man?" And that's and that's how it works, you know. And then that that's how life works, you know. You're, I guess that's it. That you may, once you put all the energy out there, the energy comes back. Just like try to be positive, right? And then always be positive. Even <laughs> the negative is always a positive. I mean, like I remember when I first started business, I thought being famous was important, and it's so irrelevant. You know, being the best artist you can be is the only thing you can control. So I would just work on my stuff. And then when I became more popular, it was like, I didn't care about that stuff anymore. I didn't care about, you know, you know, saying the right thing, being to the right parties. All that stuff is innocuous and silly. Just be really, really talented at what you do and, just, and work at it every day. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, dude. Anytime. Ashley, thank you so much for your time. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you.